I'm Matt Rogers, principal at Parsons High School. I want to provide to you a state assessment update. In this, I will be explaining the new performance levels. I'll define those performance levels. We'll be talking about college and career ready and what it means. I will be introducing new vocabulary, which is our scaled scores. I will also explain to you how to read your individual student report that you will be receiving. I'll also take time to take any exceptionalities and explain timelines of how the assessment scores are going to be set out. In previous state assessments, performance levels were measured with the following terms. Academic warning, approaching standards, meet standards, exceed standards, and exemplary. Starting with this year's state assessments, those performance levels are giving a number. Level 1, Level 2, Level 3, and level four. I will explain those as we move through this presentation. As I stated earlier, the new performance levels are level one, level two, level three, and level four. A performance level of level one indicates that your student is not performing at grade level and they need additional supports. Level two, which is an acceptable score in the scoring system, means your student is doing grade level work, but they are not on track for college. Level three, means the student is performing at grade level and is currently on track for college. Level four is above grade level performance and on track for college. As you see here, college and career readiness means an individual has all the academic preparation, the cognitive preparation and technical skills and employability skills to be successful in post-secondary education. In the attainment of industry recognized certification or in the workforce, they are able to proceed without remediation. As mentioned earlier, the new vocabulary for our assessment results are scaled scores. Scaled scores, as shown in this chart, the score of 220 is the lowest a student can score, and a score of 380 is the highest a student can score. ELA means English. As you can see here, the scaled scores for math are the same as they were for English, with 220 being the lowest any student can score, and 380 the highest the students can score. With 220 being the lowest score any student can score and a 380 the highest, as you see here, a student with a 220 is always going to be a level one. However, in third grade, a student with a score of 275 is considered a level one, while in fourth grade, if a student has a 275, they would be considered a level two. A student in sixth grade with a 273 would be in level two, all the way up to 299. Anyone over 299 would be a level three. In eighth grade, that 273 is a cutoff for level one, while once again, 299 is a cutoff for level two. On November 17th, your student will receive their student report, which looks similar to this dashboard. The first graph on top shows your student's overall score. The bands on top, of the graph represent the four possible levels. The arrow shows your individual student score. Below, there are three smaller graphs that show the performance of other students in your school, also in the school district and throughout the state. The number represented on those graphs is the median or middle number and is used for comparison amongst these graphs. If you look here, Adam's score of 229 is higher than the median score for the school, the district, and the state, and his current overall grade report would be a three, which means he is on track to graduate with college and career readiness, and he is performing at grade level. What you see here is a sample report for eighth grade mathematics with a student who is currently performing at level two. Each individual report written to the right will be able to explain to you the information of exactly what your student can perform at this particular level. What you see here is another example of a student who is at level two for fifth grade language arts. School assessment report cards will be released by the Kansas State Department of Education on December 8th. Individual student reports for USD 503 students will be sent home November 17th. I would encourage if you have any questions regarding your individual students report cards to contact your school administration or the counseling office. Thank you.